Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing continuous real-time scenario videos, uh, today video I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenario is how to get a 53rd week number year from last 10 years or last 20 years. Like some years will be having a 52 week numbers, some years will be having 53 week numbers. So how to get 53 week number years from last 20 years or last 10 years. So this uh, this will be one of the requirement like when you're working on date formats, you may get these kind of requirements. So let's understand how we can achieve that. How to get 53rd week years from date or I can say from last 10 years. So what I'll do, I'll create a data frame and I will use a Spark context. So Spark dot create data frame, create data frame. I will generate one uh, sample date, a sample day, like a sample date field from particular year. So particular year. So what I'll do, I will go with the January first. I'll go with January first. Okay. I will use a for loop, for loop, and uh, I or you can say y. Just I will increase the size. You'll get uh, more clarity on this. A range. So I'll use the range from 2000 or you can say 1999 to 2000 or you can say 2100. So from this year to this year, last like this in this 100 years or you can say or maybe 2050. In this 50 years, I want to know how many years is having 53 week number, 53 week number and that falling in January 1st, that's falling in January 1st. So what I'll do, I'll create uh, two records, I'll create uh, two uh, columns. So one is a uh, year, the same Y, then another one, uh, so 0, 1, 0, 1, and then concatenating this year. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll create a two columns. One is ID, another one is year. Okay. So this is integer. So we can we cannot concatenate different data types, just convert into string. Now let's verify the data. So this data frame is having year. So this is year ID, I can say year number and uh, date January 1st, particular year. So I want to know, I want to know which year, which year is having 53rd week number. So for that, what we can do, we can extract that week number. Before that, we need to convert into date data type. Before that, we need to convert into data type. So using a with column, I can create a date column. Column name itself date using a to date. And the from column input is year. And the input format, which is a date, month, year. So this will be converted into, okay, import to date function. Spark dot SQL dot functions input to date. So this is standard Spark format. It is converted in star Spark format. Then we need to extract week number. So what I'll do, I will add another column with using with column week number. So I'll extract week number from this and using a, another function. So that is called week of year so using this function on this date column or this this column so i want to extract week of year then import this function as well okay. 
now you see this so this year actually 53rd week number this year is having a 52 week number and this year january is uh, week number 1 you see this okay so any calendar year january 1st so if the previous year is having a 50 uh, 2 or 53 week week numbers so that may be falling in like a falling in january 1st okay depends on days depends on days so 53rd weeks normally every five years or every six years you can find you see 1999 is a like previous year 1998 then after that you see this 2004 2004 is having week number 30 53 week numbers then after that 2019 so 2019 like this is week number 53rd but it's a previous year so previous year nothing but 2009 so like this you can find this but i i'm looking for only 53rd week number years so what we can do we can use a filter condition we can use filter condition week number equal to So these are years like uh, from 1999 to 2050, 1999 to 2050, you can find these many years are having like 1999. So it means a previous year actually. Actually, it's a previous year. So if you're looking for uh, year ID, what we can do, we can change this column name, which is year number. Okay. So 2004 and 2000, like 1998, 2020, 2026. Okay. So this way, which we can go with this, getting that. 53rd week number and uh, that in January 1st, that in January 1st. Okay, even uh, if you go with the January 2nd, if you go with January 2nd. Okay, so these are our years still January 2nd also, 53rd week number. Let's go with the January 3rd. Only eight, so it's two are reduced. Okay, few years again. If you go with the January fourth, so that week number will change. Week number will change now. Now, January fourth, nothing is available in this. So most of the previous year week number is ending January third, and third. Then new week number will start from January fourth. So some years will start from January first. Even we saw here. Even without filter. If you use this, you see this week number, and these all are years week number one. And if you go with the previous date, like a third January third, so only this year, remaining years January third is week number one. You see this, okay. And if you go with the second, January 2nd. Okay, so this way, which we can find the 53rd week number years, and we can take that. So mainly analytics team, some requirements if they need, so you can achieve that. So remember this function, week of the year, and then uh, filter filter primarily january 1st or uh, january 2nd or january 3rd the maximum week number 30 20, uh, 53rd will be ending on january 3rd okay so if you like this video please subscribe my channel